other through Norwex. Well, I guess Katie and Jenna knew each other before, but uh, the cool thing is, is we, oh, you didn't, we um, aren't even necessarily on each other's teams, but we do love to coordinate and help each other out. We're all for getting to go to Hawaii uh, next month, which is such a huge blessing. Um, crazy. I mean, I think it's just such a crazy thing to get to do with this company. Um, but these ladies have become some of my dearest friends. Um, and the really cool thing with this business is um, you do make really great friendships and you can support people that don't even have anything to do with your paycheck. So um, we want you all to know that we are here to support you and encourage you in any way that we can. Um, let me see if I'm supposed to, so does everyone have a piece of paper and a pen? If you do just wave it. Woo. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't, you probably have a phone in front of you. You can like type something on your phone, but we are going to do a booking blitz, um, towards the end of this. And if you don't know what that is, we're going to explain it a little more, um, intensely. But when we were at leadership conference a couple years ago, we did a quick booking blitz on a bus ride. Um, and we had like a 20 minute bus ride and we we're like, Oh, like texting people to ask if they want to have a party. I don't know. That feels so uncomfortable and so weird. Um, but we did it. And I think Jenna, we were on that same bus ride together. How many, book I think I got like three or four bookings. Yeah, I got quite a few bookings and some bookings from people that I had a booking, a party with like a year ago. And I was like, I'm just going to text her. I need some bookings. And her book, her party was like thousand dollars and three bookings and I would have never contacted her if someone wouldn't have said sit down. And it's awesome. So we're going to do that together as a team because let's be honest, we always have good intentions to like, Oh, I'm going to text someone or I'm going to call someone and then we talk ourselves out of it or we get too busy. So we're going to have some time to do that. But what I want you to do as we're kind of doing our training, start writing down people's names. Cause if you don't do that till the end, you'll waste all your time going through your contacts, start writing down people's names. So this can be like past customers. It can be past hostesses. If you're brand new, it can be like your friends, your sister, your neighbor, whoever, maybe people that will just let you practice on them that you're like, they know nothing about Norwex, but maybe they'll just let me come practice my spiel on them. People that you know have talked about the mop or that would love the mop. It's mop month. They're a great person to put on your list. Um, or just anyone that wants to know about the new product. So maybe people that have had Norwex for a long time, there we've got brand new products that they can share with their friends too so as we're going we're going to have a prize a couple of prizes um one's going to be just for the most people that you contact so the more people that you contact and we're going to give you verbiage and like what to say to these people so we're not being real spammy and annoying um but remember norwex is a gift like i think when i first started it was really hard for me to ask people to have parties because i felt kind of uncomfortable i was like oh i don't want to be like that salesperson like i don't want to be that icky person you know i never wanted to get into it for that reason um but then you realize that first of all our products are a gift um we're giving people the opportunity to get rid of chemicals to clean faster all that good stuff and the hostess program is crazy. So if you're not offering for people to host and earn literally hundreds of dollars in free stuff, then you're kind of uh, stealing that from them. So just remember what you're offering, just like dessert. I know we still say this a lot, but dessert at a restaurant, if the waiter comes around and asks you for dessert, you're not like, oh my gosh, I'm so offended that you asked me about dessert. If you don't want dessert, just say no. It's okay. If people don't want to host, they'll say no. But um, you might be really surprised who says yes. So, um, Okay. Sorry. My phone went away. Let's see. Um, I think that's, um, so we're going to do the giveaways for the booking blitz just to kind of give you the things that we're going to be giving away. The person that gets the most no's, I know that sounds kind of weird. Like, woohoo, I got 10 people to tell me no, but you know what? You put yourself out there 10 times. Okay. That's, we're going to celebrate that. That's awesome. Uh, you have to have no's to get yeses. Um, we're going to give a prize for the most yeses. That's an obvious one. That's great, right? Um, we're going to give a prize for how many people or the person that reached out to the most people. Um, and then also just a, a prize for everyone that participates will get put into um, a pool for a prize for that. So we'll make it fun. Um, I think that's all I got. Jenna, is there anything else you want me to talk about? Hang on. I think that's it. That was it. So just right. welcoming them and we're ready. So that's talking. be listening to the training, but also as names come to you, just write them down so you'll be ready to go at the end. All right, so next we're gonna hear from, I keep forgetting where my notes are, but Meredith is next. So Meredith, I'm gonna unmute you. You can introduce yourself a little bit, tell us about how awesome you are, and then you'll be ready to go. All right, we're ready. 
Did you hear that? What he say? Mom, he said she is not awesome. Not your mom is awesome, dude. Right from my three year old's mouth. Okay. Shh. Well, I'm Meredith. My son does not think I'm awesome, but um, I am also an ESL, and, and uh, which also means I have at least 25 people who actively sell under me. So I've been, I think I'm like, just like JC. I have been selling for less than three years. I, um, I don't know. What else did you say? Everything you said, I was like, oh yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. But anyway, um, I, I have two kids third on the way because I'm crazy and uh, yeah so I don't know what else to say so I'm just going to get on with my stuff. I'm going to talk to you guys about um, and you've probably heard of this before um, if you've been kind of on the social media aspect of Norwex but uh, the body cloth challenge and the reason I wanted to talk about it is because and I know that all of the girls holding this meeting have done one as well but I've had I mean I've only done one but I uh, had a lot of success with it um, so I just thought it was a great idea to start the new year I think that people are always looking for a healthier option and um, it just kind of gives you an opportunity to present it to everyone as a healthier opportunity in the new year um, but basically everything's done for you I would literally present you with every graphic you would ever need every what do you call verbiage how do you pronounce the verbiage verbiage whatever you need to <laughs> it's like the million dollar question um on what you would say to people whether it's via text or a post on facebook or in your vip group uh to get some members to join you but essentially what this is it's taking you i think the post says that you want 10 people so the goal is to get 10 participants who have never used a body cloth before to come together you mail them a body cloth um, they are to use it for seven days straight and they reuse it in place of their makeup remover. They use it in place of their facial cleanser, uh, body wash in the shower. They use it for all the things, shaving cream. Um, they use it for all the things that we use the body cloth for. And I think it's intriguing to people cause they're like, especially the people who have never heard of Norwex or used Norwex. Uh, they're thinking to themselves, you're going to have me use a cloth for all those things for seven days. That's interesting, I'll give it a shot. Um, so you ask for the participants, you start a group, which I think we had, I didn't do this last time, but I know the other girls did, but they made like a giant group uh, with several of the leaders and like they each took their people, they asked people, kind of trickled down, joined this big massive group. We added all of the participants to it so that it was, there was more interaction and essentially they you post once or twice a day you ask questions you go live you tell them how to use the body cloths um, you try to get um, the participation going that way but um, you I don't remember you I, I had it pulled up but you know you ask them like what color they got in the mail as per, I did at least and then you tell them how to shave with it you show them like on a video how they remove their makeup with it and it's really cool to see all their reactions. They're amazed, they're posting in the group how excited they are about it. Um, they kind of feed off of each other. They ask a lot of questions. So, um, but anyway, we're gonna post all of the graphics, all the things that you would need in each of our VI, or not VIP groups, um, team groups. So that'll be available to all of you guys if you wanna join us. I think the tentative dates that we have set were oh i just got off of it um what was it again jenna was it the, the 15th 21st. 15th through the 21st 15th through the 21st that sounds right which we thought we wanted to start it as soon as possible um because i think essentially what your goal is from all of this is to get bookings to get recruits to get sales um, and I, that's not going to happen until the challenge is completely over and you've had a chance to show them these things and then they have their interest in booking parties and buying things or even signing up. So we wanted to start it as soon as possible so we could get a jump start on January and the new year and get bookings. So we, we wanted to shoot for the 15th, um, which today's the second. We figured if you want to join, if you want to do it with us, our, your goal is to get 10 girls to participate. So tonight or tomorrow, you could go ahead and order um, the body cloths 
online so that they get to you in time. Uh, so you'd have to order what three packs of body cloths. And for me, uh, I think I had 16 participate in mine and it was worth every penny I spent on postage, on body cloths, everything I did, my time, it was by far um, very worthy of my time. I think I had two recruits from it and six bookings. So, and that was in a time I will say that I was struggling big time to get my business back off the ground after having um, a baby. So I had taken several months off. I was in a bad place with Norwex. I had no bookings on my calendar and this body cloth challenge basically saved me. So um, I will say it's worth, I know that you have to invest a little bit, but I definitely 100% think it's worth every penny. Uh, but it gives you time to order those tonight or tomorrow so they get to you and then you can in the meantime be asking on your Facebook and um, your VIP group if you, you know, like I said we have the picture we have the words everything you need to ask for these people to join um, in the meantime you can be getting your 10 people uh, to sign on and be willing to try then once your body class get to you mail them out to those people and I can even include in the groups what I included in the packet to mail. So I put like a little um, laundry detergent sample for them and like some words on how to take care of them and all that stuff. So um, that's about it. Did I, did I miss anything you guys? Um, What's up? Was good. It was really, it was really fun when we did it. Um, Jenna and Kay and I all did a group together and every day we would like post the video of like doing, you know, washing off your makeup and then there was like a challenge that went with it and then we also gave away a free product every day too so it kept everyone engaged everyone loved it like people really loved it and they don't know you're not going hey uh come to this group so i can recruit you or so you'll book a party like you're just saying i want to offer you the chance to try this for free and you get to keep it would you be interested in participating in this challenge like we're going to show you how to use it i'd love for you to join us you know just don't use any soaps for you know a week or whatever um but then at the end the way that we did it we might change it up but we did there you give a coupon at the end for everyone that participates and they have three options and you give them an extra incentive. So if they book a party, I think we did like an extra what $25 host credit or something. If you, you know, join, you get an extra this. So there's reasons. They're not just like, oh, I love this. I'm going to do a party, which they might too. But we, it's all very well planned out. Um, and we're, I think we're planning on doing a group together again. So it'd be really easy for you all to join. You wouldn't have to invent the wheel. Um, really, you just participate with us. Um, you know, comment, invite your people, get them the stuff and everything else will kind of be done for you. So, yeah. And you'll even at the end, you'll have the verbiage of they finished it. Now, what do you do? So yeah. you'll be able to tell them, Hey, if you like that, like this is how much Norix gives away for doing a party. Would you like to do a party? Would you? And I had people who said no, but they're like, I want to order. So you're either going to get an order, a party or a recruit out of it. Um, also what I think is important, which this is in your wordage or in your verbiage too, but if you say, Hey, I need at least 10 people or five people, however you want, make sure you put a number on that so that people are like, I want to be one of the first 10. Yeah. And you can even do, if you want to do 15, you can do as many people say that you want to, but it's really important that you know, kind of those buzzwords to get people to want to be involved in it too. Right. And we do, what we did was we would do a, um, end of the survey or the, like at the end of the week, we had a form that they fill out that asked if they wanted to book a party that mm -hmm. asked if they wanted to join and showed them that information. And so like, I have a huge document. I should have pulled it up. So there's yeah. a significant amount of people that said, I want to book a party or I want more information. So that's just really easy for you to do. Like we post it on the page. They, that's part of one of the challenges you fill that out and then you get to be entered into another price. So it's just really well, whoever came up with it is a genius. It's not us, but right. it works. And I, I've talked to lots of people that it worked for them. So we're excited to offer that for you guys to help your schedules get a little bit more full if you're like us maybe you lost some bookings or your, your calendar's not where it wants to be because the holidays are a little hard so getting back in is a little you have to be a little bit more creative and so that's what this is for for you guys and for us for us too i need it too so for compliance reasons you just can't post that on your um regular facebook page it has to be in a private vip group or text it out to people individually just well, so you, you can post it 
Yeah. It has to you be the right words. Yeah. You just can't say I'm getting, giving away free body cloths. Like I need product testers. Yeah. That will give you the wording so you don't get in trouble. Exactly. So for those police. of you that, don't, that are new that don't know what compliance is, that just means literally the rules that we have to follow. So Norwex doesn't want you to give your own discounts on your public page. It's just so that you have that private page that's just your customers. And that way it is more of a even playing field for everybody. Um, so if you're confused about compliance rules, ask your leader on that too. Cause that's kind of a thing that when you first start, you're like, wait, what am I supposed to do with this? All right. Let's address these questions real quick. Since we're talking about the body cloth challenge, I'm going to do Angela's first. So the body cloth challenge will have a large group. That's the plan. Um, if you're wanting to do one all by yourself with just your group, you can totally just mimic what we do and do your own small group. If you want to, we really like the big group because it just creates excitement. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, then if we do a big group, it's almost like we're doing it as partners. So like, to say we go Monday through Friday, if there's at least six of us in that group, each of us would have a day that we can post. And that way you're just not doing a ton of work by yourself too. Yeah. Angela, you are very welcome to have one of the live videos if you want it. <laughs> but the leaders or anybody else that wants to can do one of the live videos. But I know how much and you The like. live video is like, I'm going to show you how to remove my mascara or just my lipstick, or I'm going to show you how I shave my legs. I'm going to show you how I wiped my kid's dirty face off with this. So just showing them almost like demos with it. So it's a lot of fun and it's a great way. Lisa said, talk more about how it would work as a multi-group. It would just be like you invite your people and then we do that. There's a video each day. There's a chance. You really don't have to do a lot unless you're wanting to take over one of the days, which we can ask for volunteers for that if you want, but you don't have to. So. The <laughs> nope, you're recruited, Angela. You're in. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was totally kidding. This is perfect. You do not have to go live. We will do it for you. Or some other people that love going live will do it. Don't oh, and then on the, sorry, Jenna, on the products that we gave away, we also got to either demo or talk about those too. So people that like just thought they knew nothing about Norwex and just wanted a body cloth, they really got an introduction to a lot of our favorite products because we gave all those away and got to kind of sneak those in there too. So that was like, oh, I want that cleaning base. Oh, I need that Enviro cloth. Yeah. Right. Because the body cloth, it really is a gateway to Norwex sometimes because cleaning without chemicals sounds kind of weird, but using a cloth to remove your makeup is not as creepy. You know what I mean? So if we can get them in the group because they're interested in that, then you can, because you know, we all at one point were like, I'm not cleaning with the cloth and water. We were all at that point at some point, right? Or I was. Um, so just getting them in is good too, right? Create some customers. Stacy, this will be a brand new group. Like it will say 2019 body cloth challenge by, you know, whatever. So it will be, yeah, it will be like a Facebook group just for this. All right. If there's more questions about that, you guys can post that. More information will be coming your way. Um, so we're going to have a form for you to fill out at the end. And if you want to participate or you want more information, you can click a yes on that. And we'll make sure you get the information on that. So don't worry because we didn't go through all of that because that'll take a little longer, but it's pretty simple. All right. So, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Someone said something or I'm going crazy. All right. The people in your head. <laughs> hey, I got a text from somebody because they don't know how to comment on the video or on the thing because they're on their phone. But she asked if it's less personal with a group, like a big group like that, um, when they don't know the people posting. What do you guys think? Because I didn't do it as a huge group last time. I reached out to my personal people once a new thing was posted. The people that were in my group, I texted them personally outside of that and be like, hey, we posted the next video. You should watch it. It's awesome. Tell me what you think. So I connected with them outside of it a little bit too. I didn't just like leave them alone. That's so, smart. And it's cool for them, I think, to see all these other people doing it too because then we'll ask them to interact and they can kind of tell their stories. So it's almost just like your VIP page. Not everybody knows each other on your VIP page, but I had today someone post their bathtub and someone that didn't know her posted her bathtub because they wanted to yeah. share it with each other. Cool. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, okay. So next is Katie. Go for it. Okay. So who here, show of hands, feels like you could have more parties on your calendar for January? Yes. Those of you not raising your hand, you have 45 parties in January. You guys are doing great. Okay, so we all want more parties, right? And we don't know how to do that sometimes. I know that last December, I did two parties in December, got 
two bookings from those. So that means in January I had two parties and I had to build off of that. And it almost was like I felt dead in the water because I wasn't doing anything, but I did things to help me get outside um, of those just like only getting a booking at a party, which I think still that's the best way to get bookings. You can get multiple bookings, but also there's ways to get bookings outside of the party. And that's what we're going to do in a little bit is show you guys that. And I think sometimes booking blitzes, we all, every single, all four of us were like, we don't want to do this. We don't want to sound like the beggar. We don't want to sound desperate. And that's not what it is. You're just like JC said, you're offering something to somebody. And what it's doing is it's showing you that it's okay that people say no. When I first started, every time someone would say no to me, I'd be like, excuse me, why? Norex is awesome. I'm awesome. You're rude. You want this. Like, you're lost. And it kind of hurt my feelings. But now they say no. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That just means no, they're not interested in doing a party right now. That doesn't mean that they won't buy something. It doesn't mean anything. It's okay if people say no to you about it. So what we get told all the time from leadership and what we tell our teammates is the only difference between us and you is we've heard no more. So we get told no, probably more than you do because we've asked more people and we've done this longer. So the more that you get told no, there's a yes in all of those. And the more you just build more confidence for yourself. And once you're building these, this confidence for yourself, then that means that you're going to see your calendar kind of fill up to where you want it to be because then you're not just so down and out every time you hear a no, then you just kind of give up, right? So we're going to give you ways to get bookings on your calendar, but also we want ways to just help you with Norwex as a whole. So in a little bit, I'm going to post in the link, I'm going to post this Google Doc that we want you all to fill out at the end of this, but we also I'll, we'll post it like on our pages too so you can see it. But we really want you to fill this doc, Google Doc out so we can see where you are and we can see what your goals are for 2019. So what that would look like that say you don't have any bookings and you really want to figure out how to get bookings even maybe at a party or outside of a party or you want to figure out how to do the party you don't feel good about that yet or you haven't even done a party yet we have a new way that we four are going to start doing parties that's really really fun we're going to have a in-home meeting on january 17th is that right jenna um, January 17th and we're going to introduce this new way to do parties so what would be great is if you guys can try to book parties and then on the 17th we can show you this new way to do parties it's super fun since I started doing it I've gotten more bookings more recruits more people are buying more stuff and it's really really fun so we're going to show you that on the 17th so either you're looking at how to do parties in a different way, you're looking at how do I up my sales? How do I do a VIP page? Any of that? We just want to know where you are. So what this Google Doc is is it's you're asking or we're asking you questions to see where you are, and then you're able to tell us. So one of the questions is, are you interested in building a team? You may want people on your team so that you can be a leader or so that you can figure out how to do this with somebody else. I know if I didn't have these four girls, I probably would have been done a long time ago. Um, so if you're wanting that support and that person, then let us know because we can be that for you and we can help you kind of build that team around you. Um, it's going to ask you if you want more training on running a party. So that's kind of just even if that means check out anything. But what that question's doing is just opening up so your leader knows what to talk to you about. Um, it's going to ask you if you need more help booking your parties, if you'd like some monthly coaching from your um, leader. And I will tell you that that sounds so silly, right? Like it's not going to be a call like, hey, Jenna, I'm here to coach you. I'm your life coach. I want you to know that you're doing great. I've always wanted a life coach. But here's what we're going to work on. Here's what you're not so good at, right? That's not what that's going to be. And so what that is, is again, we're just readdressing where you are, tell you we've been there because I guarantee we have. And to talk you through just what's going on and like even if you just want to call us and say I just at this party there's this really weird person there have you ever had this happen that is a coach call okay so it's just you kind of being able to decompress about your parties and I guarantee you need that and if you have it your um, business is gonna explode I think that's a really big key in your business for sure and then it's gonna ask you how much money do you want to make a month 
That sounds like a very personal question, right? But we know how to get that for you. So if your goal is to just maintain your discount every month, we can tell you how to do that. If your goal is to pay off your car and so you need to make $700 a month, we can tell you how to do that, right? So whatever your goal is, we can tell you how to get that with this many parties or with this kind of sales. And so we're going to ask you these questions and we want you to tell us yes or no. Even you can check maybe if you want and that's just a conversation opener. So I'm going to post that in the link right now. Don't look at it yet because pay attention to us or we'll get upset. But I'm going to post that there in a little bit. You all can go to that Google Doc and you can click on it. I will also, we'll post it in our team pages too, okay? And also on there is if you want to be uh, participating in the body cloth challenge and then also participating in bingo, which I think, Jenna, are you going to go over a little bit of what bingo looks like? Okay, so I have those questions in there too. Jenna's going to talk about bingo. You can say yes, maybe no, but we just want you to be able to check something so we know what to talk to you about. We want everybody to fill this out. When you fill it out, if you get it filled out before tomorrow afternoon, we're going to do a drawing and give something away just for filling that out, okay? So even if you click no on everything, you can be on that drawing, but I guarantee you're still going to get a call. You're going to get a oh no call from your leader if you click no <laughs> on everything, okay? So, so look at that for us in a little bit, and then Jenna, I think, is going to talk about bookings and bingo. Yes, awesome. You didn't introduce yourself. This is Katie. She's I'm also awesome. Her kids aren't there to tell you otherwise. Um, and I don't know. You want to say anything else? No. Okay. Awesome. Okay. My name is Jenna. <clears throat> I'm also an ESL and that's all I got for you. <clears throat> but we're going to talk about bingo. Uh, and what I just want to talk off of Katie real quick. Just, I know we've all said this, but we've all looked at our calendar one day and been like, crap, Norwex is gone. <laughs> I've said that to Katie. I don't know who I've said that to. We've all been there. So don't think we have it all together and everything comes easy. We have to put in the work. We have to come think of easy ideas. My husband's always like, you always say that. And then you work and you get your bookings back. I'm like, but it's real this time. He's like, whatever. But it's because I don't, I don't quit. Like I look at my calendar and I'm like, what, what can we do? So we're trying to provide you guys with that, the options for doing that. So one of them is the body claw challenge. I really challenge you to join the challenge. Um, it's worth it in a super easy way for you. What, or at least you should at least try it. So let's say you actually don't get any participants. That's like the worst thing that could happen. And that's like not a big deal. You'll get somebody I'm sure. So don't be afraid of the body cloth challenge. It is worth it. Another one that we have started doing is, um, having a bingo night. So the next bingo night, when Katie comes back, she'll tell us when it, where it is. Um, I can't remember what date it is. It's in February. So we've done bingo twice and at every bingo, um, we've gotten sales, we've gotten bookings. Um, I, our recruits, maybe not as many recruits have, when's bingo, Katie? February 28th, I believe. February 28th. And we try to get a more central location so everyone from all over the metro could come to it. But what you do is you have hosts, you have, you can be your own host. So invite your own guests or you can have multiple hosts. So I had like two hosts last time and they invite their friends just like they're having a party at their house, but it's at bingo. So it's actually way more fun than a home party. Like you get a lot, we give away a ton of free stuff. We have a lot of fun. Sometimes some man on stage sings songs about Norwex. You guys, it's a lot of fun. So <clears throat> there's a guy named Bingo Glenn. Where is Brianna? Is she on here? I think so. Rihanna's dad is awesome. And he did, I hope he's doing it again this year. But did she say yes? I can't see her face. Anyway, it's just a really, yes, I'm recruiting. Okay. Him. It's, it is a lot of fun and a great way. I mean, potentially if it's the right day and you work hard enough, you could have like three or four parties there and they each have five guests and they really are incentivized to buy more because they get more bingo tickets for every $25 they spend. Um, it's just a really, it's a lot of fun. We have a blast. We get to hang out. We have, you make sales. You, you're not there all by yourself doing a product pitch. So bingo is another way to get bookings because we can work to get bookings from home to home parties from that. Or we're going to be doing bingo every like three months or two months. So they can, every two months, Katie's all about bingo. Um, so they can rebook for the next bingo night and bring their friends and be like, it's so much fun. So um, bingo is another way to get some bookings. So if you want more information on that, that'll come out soon, but check that box on your thing. Uh, and then, so now have you guys been writing down any names? Okay. It's booking blitz time. Woohoo! You guys are so excited. 
Um, here's the deal. I was anti booking blitz and I'm just going to be very honest with you guys. I was, I was like, that's ridiculous. I'm not doing that until we got on that bus. And I was like, I'm going to do it. Everybody else is. And I, it, I got two or three bookings and literally that one party led to a bunch. And I'm sure not every single person on that got, got that much that time, but the next time they did a booking blitz, they did. So booking blitzes, I know it sounds crazy, but those people that I, that I got to book parties and then they had a party and they got all their free stuff. No one was mad at me. Everyone was super pumped that they got all that free stuff. So get your list ready. I'm going to write in the chat some go over you may there's there's a lot more people than there were when we went over it the first time. You may just like quickly tell them maybe okay. what, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. So a booking blitz is where you you're supposed to be making a list of maybe past hosts, customers, or if you're new, or even if you have friends that have never done Norwex before, or you've been wanting them to host a party, now's the time. Don't even be afraid. I know some people like to do like, hey, I need to book three parties in the next 30 minutes. Are you in? Can you book one? Um, I've never done that, but I know some people that have. So don't, if that's your personality and you know your people will respond to that, that's fine too. But you text out to as many people as you can, or you can call them if you want to. Um, and try to get some bookings to fill your calendar. Um, so these are bookings you're getting outside of parties. That way you can start your January strong. And so we're trying to get them in January because it's mop month and it's better. Why is Katie smiling? What is happening? Don't laugh at me. You'll find out. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> anyway, so that's what a booking blitz is. So your goal Right now, is to keep thinking of names, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna post in a minute what to do. Um, but first, I wanna do a little bit of recognition, and I don't know if everyone's on here, but we're gonna do top sales from all of our groups. So, and this is a lot of the people that are in Oklahoma, because <clears throat> I know there are some other teams around, but we're, we're normally one of the top leaders, right, guys? Like, there's probably, there are other Oklahoma people, but this, this is a lot of the main Oklahoma people. So, um, Number one in sales, other than leaders, was Valerie Van Ness. Ooh, Valerie. Ooh, Valerie. And she has sales of, and she just started. Where is she? I'm going to unmute her because she may not want me to, but I'm going to do it. Where are you, Valerie? She's on the second page. Hey, Valerie. Can you hear me? I feel like, like we phoned in on a radio. Oh, oh man. Anyway, she just started and has taken off and it's, she's been done so great. So I'm so excited for her. Brianna Hurt is number two. Woohoo, Brianna. Yeah. 1,876 in sales. Woohoo. Angela Haynes, who's going to go live in our, um, <laughs> <laughs> is she's three, number three at 1,589. Madison Story is number four. At 1,542, Angie McKinney is the next one at 1,500. Kelly Veal, she's not on here, but she's 1,461. Tiffany, you're next with 1,394. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Tiffany, you're number seven. Andy, you're number eight with $1,243. Andy has had a great month. I'm so proud of her. Um, Whitney is at 1,187. Woohoo! And then Sandy Smith, I hope she can hear. She said it was staticky earlier, but she comes in at 10th with 1,143. So, congratulations to you guys. That means you worked hard this month. Even in December, sometimes it's harder to get very many sales because there's like a couple weeks where you're out. But you guys are awesome. So, we just wanted to say congratulations. We're excited for you guys. And I'm going to post those in the notes so you guys can see. I'm also posting the sales from the leader. So you guys know that we're working it too. We're not just sitting here with no wisdom that comes from nowhere. We actually, actually have had parties. So they're competing against each other. So look at all those names and see who you need to beat next month. Right. Also, I normally am not below Katie. So I'm really proud oh, of Katie. Well, for beating whatever. Me. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. So anyway, congratulations, you guys. So we'll be doing this again. Hopefully next month we can do something like this where we can recognize you guys. But hey, Andy, woohoo! Make it sales. All right, so I'm gonna post some of, some wording that I came up with. So you don't just copy and paste my exact wording. Tailor it to what you want. If you are having a past host, kind of put that in there. If it's someone that's never done Norwex, take out the part where I say. Uh, I hope you're loving your Norwex products because if they don't have any, they're not going to love them. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some wording real quick. 
Yeah. And then and while she's posting that, if you have only done one or two parties or you haven't done a party yet, you just started, you're supposed to do this anyways. This is what Norox tells us to do. So this is a great way just to even introduce that you are now a Norox consultant and that you want to even practice on them. If it's your friends and family, be like, hey, I need to practice my new job. Can I do that with you and your friends or you and your family? Okay, so I'm going to post my wording. So you guys can change that however you want. You might actually proofread it because um, I did that with, I had three sick kiddos or two sick kiddos. So you guys can go ahead and start. We're officially, we're going to wait. What's our plan? We're going to wait a few minutes, mm -hmm. answer some questions as you guys are texting people, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so go ahead and start texting. Remember, we're giving away a prize. So whoever gets the most knows. We're giving yell away. out. If like, I got a yes, I got a no, I got a maybe. Like, let us know where you're at. We're giving a prize for the most yeses. And we're giving a prize for the most pe people that you contact. And then everyone that participates gets entered into a drawing. And Valerie got a yes. Valerie. Ooh. You got a yes? I am getting bookings. <laughs> you played that. <laughs> That's what I was laughing at earlier. <laughs> You were ready. Did you just get that set up? Oh, I've, I've been ready for a while. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh. Stacy got a party. Before having a party. Mason, I would say you want to do it for yourself pretty quick. So I would say after you for your launch party, you want it at least two weeks after your launch party at most like three or four what do you mean another booking she could have a party a couple days after her lunch that's true you could do that that's what i mean they always suggest like do a few quickly so you're more used to it yeah if you have your lunch and you wait a couple weeks it's a little harder this is for andy stacy you guys are awesome i'm also loving this music and if you host your own party, we'll count that as a booking too. Oh, yeah. We'll mm -hmm. put it on the calendar and we'll count it. That's awesome. Find a date. Yeah, make sure what you're doing with them is you're getting a date as well. Right. You have that's true. You need to get it. Make sure you get a date. So those that say you got two yeses, get a date from them first before they count. Let me know if my music is annoying for you. It's annoying. No, is it? You're annoying. Yes, it's terrible. You're rude. You're terrible. <laughs> I like it. I'm putting this on our Hawaii playlist. <laughs> oh gosh. She, she didn't even turn it off after you said you don't like it. Of course not. <laughs> One of my yeses, January 26th. Perfect. And you can tell them too, if you're interested in bingo, let them know that they can book a bingo party. My family members and friends that have had parties recently. Oh. Mason, let them know that we have new products and that that's what they'll want to look at is the new products. Andy got another yes. Yeah, she's on fire. She said womp womp. I don't know what that means. How do you accurately <laughs> whoop whoop. Whoop whoop womp womp. Oh my goodness. Jesus. I'm planning on having one at my house in January. I just have to find a date. I'd like a no wallet party for my friends and family because there's a lot of people that I know that have never been to a party of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it says just come. I want to show you the new products. I'm going to show them the new like auction style party. Mm -hmm. uh, give away a bunch of and I'm hoping to get some bookings that way. So if you have your own people that you don't want to seem salesy, you can always do like a no wallet party too. Yeah. And focus on and also bingo is great for people who have already done parties and love norwex because they know it and they we don't do a big demo at all it's really just for every 25 you spend you get a bingo card so it's almost like a customer appreciation thing more than anything and so they come and they just buy and they play bingo and they win prizes so if you have people who you know would want to but they recently did a party or they went to one bingo is a great party for them too right yeah, that's true. So bingo parties count if you get mm -hmm. bingo. She says the womp womp is like Charlie Brown, his teacher. If it's in February, it counts. We'll count it. It doesn't have to be in January. Your goal is January, but mm -hmm. February counts. Yeah, booking's the booking. That's right. 
How's everybody doing? <clears throat> if you're getting nose, tell us the nose too. Yeah, Timmy. Whoop whoop. Yay. Are you guys posting your nose or the nose just like not responding to you? They're like, yeah, if they don't respond, that's also it. You can tell us that because we have those too. Andy, you're awesome. I have another, it's a joined party with one of your other hostesses you just had. Yeah, that's yeah. even better. You spend a shorter amount of time and have two parties. Mm -hmm. Andy, you're like killing it. I know. JC, this music. Now I got another. Awesome. This music's on 10 hours. I'll send you the link when we're done. Oh, excellent. I'll go to sleep to it. <laughs> oh, man. And guys, if you already have your calendar where you want it to be in January, post that too. Let us know how many parties you have so we can celebrate that as well. Are you guys, as everyone's texting people, if you have any other questions, um, you can comment those in, there, in here if you want to. Um, we're going to give about three more minutes to do it live with everybody, but we're going to give you until midnight tonight. So it's whoever, your total by midnight tonight, once you get your responses back from everybody, you can continue texting people. Once you're done, respond, text your, your leader. I switched to my computer. Can you still see me? Tell your leader um, how many you have. That way we'll do the giveaways. We'll have to do them later. We're not going to do them live right here just because we gave you like seven minutes. And that's sometimes people look at their phones every five seconds like I do. So. Yeah. Well, and it's already almost nine. People will write you back in the morning too. So keep thinking about that list. Make it a big list. Just like if you're inviting people to a party, you're inviting them to have a party. So that's kind of the same. Um, if you have any questions, you can either unmute yourself or you can write it in the um chat and we'll answer questions about anything as well jc it's not nice to call people square what you said oh. you're square. <laughs> you know she's not square she knows what i mean valerie has a party on the 11th the 12th the 24th the 25th and the 26th oh, yeah girl um, that's awesome yes amy bingo is going to be more centrally located right mm -hmm. where's it at katie it's off at northwest expressway so it's kind of right off the highway right there at the Nazarene Church. Stacy got an, a, a date on that party. Good job, Stacy. I couldn't get anyone to come last time. Yes, we're going to try to make it more centrally located so more people can come. It was just hard to find somewhere where it's kind of like a, a trial and error. So hopefully this place will work. I think this place will be great for us. Larissa, I don't even know you. I would never call you a square. I'm sorry that JC said that to you. If I was talking to Tammy. Oh, dang it. Who's Larissa? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> but neither one are squares. Okay, if seven. you are right. done with your booking blitz, I posted the link to our Google Doc again. We want everybody to fill that out. Um, okay, I think we should get everyone till tomorrow morning, like at 10 a.m., to get their responses back. Because some people won't text back until tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. You Is want that to get them until 10? Is that enough? Or noon? Or noon. Let's do noon. Yeah. We'll do noon for both of them. So if you can tonight, your Google Doc will literally take you like two minutes. So if you can do it really quick, that will be great for us. Um, but we want everybody to be able to fill that out for sure. And we will, if you win, we'll definitely reach out to you um, to let you know one more January 19th. So I have two on January 11th. What? That's Man, awesome. You're my hero. Bye. See what a little texting will do for you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Did you guys, did anyone come up with some better wording you want to share in the text for other people? You can definitely share the wording that you sent out. That seems to be working if you didn't use mine. Definitely end with a question though. Like, don't be like, hey, if you would want to have a party, just let me know. Or mm -hmm. it'd be a lot of fun. Ask, ask a question at the end so they will respond a little bit. Yeah. Right. That's and if I'm you good. have, if you have an incentive that you want to give away, you can do that too. Like I'm giving, I want January and February to kind of start off strong. So I'm giving something away to those hosts. So even if you just want to tell them they get a $20 credit, whatever it is, that goes a long way as well. 
Right. And that can be hard when you're first starting out because you may not have a lot of shopping sprees and you're like, oh, 20 extra mm -hmm. dollars, whatever. But we call that buying our booking. So if you don't have bookings, you don't have parties, your business is dead. It's worth your $20 or whatever it is for you to have that party. You're going to make money. You're going to get bookings. Um, just like any business, you have to put in a little bit to make money. So um, I know it's a little hard at the beginning, but it'll be totally worth it. And then when you start adding to your team, you get shopping stream money. And all that's just for free, not even out of your pocket, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. What are some examples of questions you would ask at the end? Oh, Stacy got another one. Good job, Stacy. Um, so I put at the end of mine, I put, what do you think? Can we grab a date for you? Question mark. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you my open dates. I say that sometimes. That's good. That's yeah. Good. Big dates I have open. That's good. Or would you be interested in getting a ton for free? Good. All right. Well, I think we're, does anybody else have any questions? All right, ladies. So I'm so glad you joined us. I hope this was helpful. So things to take away. Hopefully you're taking notes. Body cloth challenge. Please hang out with us. Do that. Bingo. Great way to do some business. Get some bookings. That's not as stressful. Um, and then the booking challenge is important. What else were we going to talk about? In-home party. Or in home uh, team meeting. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So our next team meeting, that is a, what we try to do is at least a Zoom meeting and then a team home meeting every other month. But since we're beginning a new year, we want to kind of do those together. So our next team meeting is January 17th. Everybody get that on your calendar. Uh, Brianna, do we have a place for that yet? We will have a place for that soon. It's okay. Um, and so that's also going to, we're going to try to do a central location for that one as well. And um, we'll 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 that new party. Yeah. We we're going to talk about yeah. how to do the new party. It's super, super, super fun. All of us were kind of feeling like I'm going to go in and do the same party over and over again that I've done for two years. And we started this new party and it's really fun. Your crowds really get involved. So you do not want to miss that at all. Um, we will post super soon the time and place for that but that is the 17th of january for sure all right anything else ladies before i miss you if i didn't miss anything all right it was fun mm -hmm. see you. talk to you tomorrow when you give us your numbers you okay. guys are awesome don't forget Bye. to pull out your form before bed yeah, yeah. Fill out your form. <laughs> bye. bye everybody bye, bye.